a girl thought she was good looking. I asked her where she lived and then she told me Brooklyn. On Saturday night we made plans to go out and then Saturday came and she wasn't around. I called her up and this is what she said. Said I tried to take the L but the L wasn't right. I can't take a cab cause it costs too much money. Gas is too expensive for me to drive my truck and I'm not crazy enough to set foot on the bus. I tried to call you, but you weren't at home. I lost two quarters in a broken paintball. It looks like you drink alone tonight. And I offered to go into Brooklyn again. She said she didn't think that would be better. But it's getting late, and then tomorrow it's raining. She'd rather spend a whole day complaining. I guess everyone's complaining. Everyone's complaining. Everyone's got something to say. I went to Ludlow Street to get myself a beer. See if bands were playing that I wanted to hear. I saw a band playing that were practically flawless. I knew the bass player, he went to Bard College. When the show was over, I hung around. To tell the guys how much I like their sound. I talked to them and this is what they said. Then the show was awful, everything that went wrong. They played the wrong chord on the very first song. The sound was terrible, the sound guy was loaded when they plugged the bass in, the DA almost exploded. No one came from the press and the girls weren't pretty. The dollars and tips and the cab were cost The bartender was cheap and the drinks were diluted. It's known in New York City likes music. Is it just me? Is there something I'm missing? You should enjoy playing music even when nobody's listening. But everyone's complaining, everyone's complaining, everyone has something to say. Tired of loneliness and a daily drama, I consulted his holiness, the Dalai Lama, was speaking that day on the Central Park Meadow, I found an old oak tree I made in the shadow. Oh, they talked about emptiness, love, and compassion, and they talked about world peace and how it would happen, and when it was over I came to the conclusion that all of our suffering was just an illusion. Oh, you see ugliness and your mind can destroy it. Plant the seeds for good life and then relax and enjoy it. But when he was finished and we were all leaving, I heard two women behind me were speaking. I talked to them and this is what they said. The mosquitoes were biting and the weather was hot. They wished they had better seats than they got. They didn't understand the translation was poor. They didn't feel more enlightened than they were before. And when they were leaving, one of them asked, the other at the next yoga class. The other one answered and seemed rather pensive and it said yoga classes are much too expensive. Well as for me, well I've done some hard traveling. I ate raw potatoes and I slept in the gravel. I've been in the countries of people who truly were suffering, worked all day in the gold mines and never earned nothing. Well the children were naked and their water polluted. Ruled by dictatorships, constantly looted. Their political prisoners were routinely tortured and they still complain less than the average New Yorker. <laughs> I know by now some of you must be saying that by singing the song I am also complaining. But that's just the irony of me explaining. Everyone's complaining. Everyone's complaining.